Welcome to Webinar Wednesday. Today we're going to look at the Accounts Payable role in Dynamics GP. We're going to look at managing accounts payable and vendors, doc attachments and scanning documents, workflow approvals, and EFT for payables. Let's get started. Many flexible features and benefits are included in the payables management module of Microsoft Dynamics GP. Our area of focus today is vendor maintenance and um, vendor classes. So you can use vendor records to enter and store information about a company's suppliers. Address and billing information is stored with the vendor and information such as the typical payment terms, uh, default when transactions are being entered in payables management or in purchase order processing. You can generate many reports to analyze account information by vendor. Then you can use a vendor class to group these vendors according to shared characteristics such as business type or location. Uh, this feature provides default settings for new vendor records and accelerates data entry. And it also provides reporting for a specific group of vendors quickly and easily. By using the class roll down feature, you can easily change information for a whole class of vendors quickly and easily. You can use a vendor class to group vendors according to shared characteristics, such as a business type or location. You can set it up by going to purchasing, uh, setup, vendor class. Uh, vendor classes are typically used to group vendors according to similar characteristics, right? Uh, creating vendor classes is optional. However, this can accelerate data entry. When you change information on existing class records, the information for all vendors that are assigned to the class can quickly be changed. This is um, referred to rolling down changes. Uh, a roll down can be made uh, when the information that is changed must be reflected on every vendor uh, that's associated with the class. So I have my vendor here. If I wanted to change my um, payment type to prepayment and I click save, I'll be asked, do you want to roll down these changes? So essentially, a vendor class acts as a template for new vendors, where some of the setup of that vendor can be predefined in a class ID. Let's pull up that vendor uh, temp uh, class again, and you'll notice that there is a default checkbox here. When marked, then this vendor class acts as a template for new vendors. Other things that we can define in our vendor class are GL accounts. When we click the accounts button at the bottom right corner here, we'll be able to assign all the GL accounts that are necessary to make uh, our payables transactions possible, accounts payables, um, our purchases account, and so on. Okay, let's take a look at how all of this will benefit us uh, creating a new vendor. So we go to purchasing cards vendor. Here's the vendor maintenance window. So basically payables management in Microsoft Dynamics GP is a collection of vendor records. Uh, they're used to track the status of your vendor accounts and to print reports. So let's start creating our new vendor. Okay, we're going to select our vendor and conveniently all this information is going to be filled in. So we go into our options, all of this is filled in for us. We go into accounts, it's all filled in. We just need to put in additional information. Uh, like the address.
If there's more than one address for a vendor, such as a separate purchase, remit to, and ship from uh, address, additional addresses can be added to this window. Uh, a unique tax schedule and shipping method can be entered for each address, which is useful um, if one of your if your vendors have multiple plants in different taxing localities. We can enter a different ID in the remit to field if we want to have a different address to be printed on checks and remittances. So we can call it remit and maybe give it a different person. Um, We can give it a different tax schedule. Anything will do, just for testing. Uh, maybe a different uh, shipping method. There is an EFT bank option if you want to enable EFT for this particular uh, location. If you have any questions on anything you've seen in today's webinar or would like to talk Microsoft Dynamics GP with us, please visit us at www.profit.ca. Have a wonderful day and I thank you for viewing. Are you and your organization working towards becoming a paperless office? Well, Microsoft Dynamics GP has a great feature called Document Attached. It goes a long way towards this goal. If your role in your organization is to enter transactions like an AP clerk and you would like to include scanned or electronic copies of your invoices, purchase orders, bill of lading, etc. Or maybe you're a purchasing manager who needs access to a manufacturer's product images, technical specification, white papers, or vendor contracts, then this might be a feature you'd want to implement soon. So Document Attach is a feature that allows the user to do all of this. And it's not just restricted to payables. Uh, you can attach them to master records like customers and vendor cards, uh, inventory items, and to transactions like uh, sales and purchasing invoices. So no more messy, no, no more messy um, filing cabinets and lost forms. All the documents are saved with the related record or transaction in GP. Let's start by attaching a contract to uh, one of the vendors. So let's pull up a vendor. And then we can click on the attach icon up at the top. And here is the document attach management window. Now we have a couple of options uh, when attaching a document. We can attach by uh, navigating to the location we've saved the document. In this case, um, uh, that's what we're going to do. But if I had a scanner um, attached to uh, my uh, GP or linked to my GP, I could actually and you could actually uh, just scan directly off of GP without scanning first and then uh, looking for the file to attach it. We have other options in here. We can uh, select whether we want the attached document to flow or not to flow. What that means is any transactions, if it was set to flow, it, uh, any transactions for this vendor will automatically have the document that we've entered here um, attached to the transaction. The other options um, include uh, whether we'll allow GP to send these attachments as part of an email. We'll keep that marked and uh, we'll take a look at how that works a little later. Let's start creating transactions for this uh, vendor. So let's start with a purchase order. I'll create a PO. And bring in an item, 75 of these guys. Okay, so now we have um, a PO. And you'll notice when we click on document attach, we'll save this, that the attachment on the vendor had flowed, because we selected the option to flow, had flowed into the PO. That way, when we're creating the PO, uh, the person entering it or approving the PO 
we'll have a document to refer to uh, to make sure that we're, we're adhering to stipulations and agreements. Okay, We have the line item here. We can add attach documents to it. But if we click here, we'll notice that another uh, item had flowed from the item master this time. If we preview this, it's a picture. So now you can visually uh, make sure that you will have selected the right item. We can add additional documents, like if you had uh, a data sheet that you want to attach, maybe for an approver to go over to make sure that this is the correct item. So I've attached that here. Now let's go ahead and email this purchase order. We've marked the documents attached um, to be included in the emails. So let's do that. Let's see how that looks. So if we went to actions, we're going to select the documents to attach. Okay. Uh, well, let's just mark all of it just to test it out. And we can email it, send. Just wait for the system to generate that email. I've sent it to myself. So it should pop up any moment now. There we go. And you can see that aside from the PO, here's our PO. We have also attached our contract, the image, and the data sheet. We can also attach um, documents to posted transactions through the inquiry windows. So we can pull up a, a previous transaction from this vendor. We'll look at all the historical ones. We'll grab this invoice here, and you'll see that the attach icon is available as well. So maybe we wanted to add, attach something we've missed in the past, maybe a bill of lading. Open it. Okay. So the document attach module in GP is a great way for you to reduce the use of paper in your office, it, not to mention it's going to be great for the environment in the long run. So if you have any questions on anything you've seen here today, uh, or would like to talk about anything else uh, regarding Microsoft Dynamics GP, please visit us at www.profit.ca. Have a wonderful day, and I thank you for viewing. Hello, and welcome to a selection of Accounts Payables Tools presented by Profit Business Group. Do you need automated control over your payables process, routing AP approval requests based on defined rules? Microsoft Dynamics GP has you covered with Payables Workflow Approvals. Workflows can be configured for vendors, batches, and payables transactions. Customizable email notifications are available. We'll take a look at submitting, approving, and recalling workflow requests, and also review the workflow history. Let's dive right in with a simple AP transaction approval workflow I've set up in Profit's test environment. The workflow rules are defined in the maintenance window. Here we can see vendor, batch, and transaction workflows available to configure along with purchase order processing workflows. This transaction approval workflow is configured to require approval uh, from one person if the document amount is $5,000 or higher, from a different person if the document amount is between $1,000 and $5,000, and no approval is required for transactions below $1,000. Additionally, each approval step allows us to configure an email message to be sent to the approver. We can also include doc attached documents that have been added to the transaction in the email notification. Once an appropriate workflow is enabled, Workflow options are available in the Payables Transaction Entry action bar. Here we can submit the transaction 
and include a comment for the, for the approver. I've submitted three transactions for three approval thresholds, under 1,000, between 1,000 and 5,000, and 5,000 or more dollars. We can view the pending approvals in the Workflow Payables Transaction Navigation List. Here we can see the $5,000 transaction is pending on one approver. The $1,000 transaction is pending for a different approver. And the under $1,000 transaction is not pending as it did not require approval. Requests can be approved, rejected, delegated, or recalled through this navigation list. Approval requests can also be approved, rejected, or delegated from the transaction itself. And once it's been approved, you can also recall from the menu bar. Furthermore, with some additional setup, approvals and rejections can be accomplished via the email notifications without even logging into GP. Reviewing the workflow history can be done from the action bar, both for unposted transactions in the transaction entry window, or for posted transactions via the payables inquiry windows. The workflow history shows the submission details, including the comment, as well as the action required by each step of the workflow. For example, for 5K+, plus, there's no approval required, but in the 1K to 5K section, this one required an approval, which was performed by myself. If you would like to learn more about Accounts Payables Workflows in Microsoft Dynamics GP, please visit Profit Business Group at www.profit.ca. Thank you, and have a great day. Accounts Payable. Sending EFTs via Dynamics GP. Paying your vendors electronically via EFT is a very simple process when using Dynamics GP. Set up the file format that your bank requires, gather banking information from your vendors, create EFT payment batches within Dynamics GP, and send the payment file to the bank for processing. I've been in contact with my bank and received the documentation for the file format that I need to use inside Dynamics GP to generate a file that I can send to them. In this case, I'm going to use the Scotiabank file format. Out of the box, I can use a Bank of Montreal, CIBC, National Bank of Canada, RBC, Toronto Dominion, and if I scroll down, I also have Scotiabank. If those don't meet your needs, we can also make user-defined bank file formats where we can have custom formats to match your bank. My vendor, the EFT company, has provided me with their banking information. They're using a bank with a routing number and a bank account number. When I create my payment batch, I make sure that I use the radio button for EFTs. This will tell Dynamics GP to only pick the vendors where the addresses have EFT information on them, and those addresses were the used on the payables transaction. Processing my batch, I can then print the remittance form to let the vendor know what I'm paying. I can also email that document. And then once I have the document, I can go ahead and post.
once my transaction is posted, I can then generate the EFT file for my batch. And the system tells me that I now have text file one ready to go to the bank. Once the file is generated, the system tells me the file number and the location of the file. The resulting file is a text file that contains the information about my bank, my vendor's bank, and the invoices that I want to pay. Take this file and send it to the bank for them to process. Using Dynamics GP, an accounts payable clerk can quickly and efficiently create an EFT file for the bank to use to pay vendors electronically. To find out more about using Dynamics GP for EFTs or about Dynamics GP, please visit Profit's website at www.profit.ca.